Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this lady to go with the poodle I designed previously. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 21cm wide by 39cm or 8.5 inches wide by 15.5 inches. The medium lady crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 14cm wide by 27cm or 5.5 inches wide by 10.5 inches. The small lady crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 12cm wide by 22cm or 4 and 3 quarter inches wide by 8 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be between the medium and the large lady. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 404 English tea, 106 snow white, 110 black, 201 electric blue, I'll be using a 2.5 crochet hook for the main work and a 2mm crochet hook for uh, the neatening rows. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together, a darning needle to weave in the ends and scissors. Now we're going to start on the top and then we'll work the belt and the skirt in one piece. Now I've got my 106 the snow white and we start with 6 chain for row 1 we work 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook a single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms for a single crochet we put the Hook into the stitch a second from the hook and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches as well. We have one stitch left. We work one single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. We've now got seven stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and 
one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the seven stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. Then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 9 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 9 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our 2 single crochet in the first work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 11 stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn, we're going to decrease now so we'll work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. We put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. 
we've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And one half double crochet in each of the last six stitches. Now we're going to work the first strap. We start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 14 we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. Sorry about my voice, I haven't been well and really struggling talking at the moment. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And we fasten off. And that's the top with the first strap done. For the second strap we're going to join in the first stitch of row 13, so this stitch here. And we work one chain. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch.
For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. Now the blouse isn't quite even because the ladies at a bit of an angle. Now that's the blouse done. We're going to work a neatening row so we don't turn or fasten off. We start with one chain and we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch around. So we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. We just find a suitable place not too far from the edge and it can be easier to use a finer hook for the neatening row. So just work one slip stitch in each stitch right around. So I'll continue around this off camera and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. Now I'm back to the beginning of the row, I'll just slip stitch in that first stitch and fasten off. And that's the top done. Now for the belt we join two stitches back from our middle stitch. So this stitch here and we work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join. One single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochet into the middle stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the belt done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with my blue to work the skirt. For the skirt I've got my 201 the electric blue and I join to the first stitch of the belt. So in here and we start with three chain. We work two double crochet into the first stitch. A dub, double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We work one more double crochet in that same stitch. Then one half double crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into each of the following two stitches, one half double crochet into the next stitch. 
and two double crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with three chain and turn. We work two double crochet into our first stitch. One double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have ten stitches. So after our two double crochet in the first work, one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with three chain and turn our work. We work two double crochet into the first stitch Then one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our two double crochet in the first stitch, work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with three chain and turn. We'll work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So work one double crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with three chain and turn. We'll work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, 
take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops we've got three loops on the hook, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops then we work one double crochet in each stitch to the end we'll have 12 stitches For row 6 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet in each of the 12 stitches. For row 7 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches then we'll work 1 double crochet in each stitch to the last 2 stitches we'll work a join double crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 10 stitches so after our join double crochet, work one double crochet in each stitch till you have two stitches left and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches for row 8 we start with 3 chain and turn we work 1 double crochet in each of the first 5 stitches and a join double crochet over the next two stitches for row 9 we start with 3 chain and turn we work a join, sorry, we work 1 double crochet in each of the first 4 stitches
and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet in each of the first 3 stitches. and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet in each of the 4 stitches. For row 12 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches and a join double crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 13 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into the first stitch and 1 half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch and we fasten off and that's the first side of the skirt done. We'll join our electric blue to the first of the stitches left back here for row 1 we work 3 chain we work a joined double crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch and a join double crochet over the next stitch and the first stitch of the last part, so the next two stitches. So the last stitch has two stitches in it. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn and work a join double crochet over the two stitches. And we fasten off. Now that's the right side of our skirt. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work a neatening row. Now for the neatening row I join my electric blue to the first stitch of the skirt and I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch down to this point you could work one slip stitch in each stitch right round if you'd like but I'd like to make that point a little bit pointier.
Now when I get to the point, I'll work three chain. I'll slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then work a single crochet into the last chain and then slip stitch into the other side of the point and then I'll continue working one slip stitch in each stitch around to the belt. So I'll work that off camera. Once we get back up to the belt we fasten off and that's the top and the skirt done. We'll work the pleat for the skirt next. Now I've got my 201, the electric blue, and I start with 17 chain. For row 1 I miss 2 chain and work 1 half double crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have 15 stitches. And then we fasten off the electric blue. For row two, we join our 110, the black, either to the first stitch or the chain, just up in there. We work one chain and we'll work one slip stitch in the back loop only. This is the back loop. So one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch along row one.
and then we fasten off our black. For row three we join the electric blue about halfway up our work. We work one slip stitch into the next stitch, one single crochet into the following stitch and then we work one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. And then we fasten off the electric blue. For row four, we join our black to the stitch before our join for the electric blue. So just in here on the black. Work one chain and then work one slip stitch in each stitch in the back loop only to the end. and we fasten off. Then we, we join the electric blue to the first stitch of row two, so just in the black up there. and work two chain and then we'll work one half double crochet in each stitch to the end.
and we fasten off. And that's row five done. I'll weave in those ends to make it a bit easier for the next rows. Now I'm starting on the second side now, coming from here. So I've got my black and I join in the back of the chain from row one, just in here. and work one chain and then I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch in the back of the chain up to the end of the row And I fasten the plaque off. For row 7, I join my blue to the first stitch of the black, just in here. and I work three chain. I work one double crochet in the same stitch as my join. That's a treble using UK terms. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the following stitch. and then slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off the blue then we join our black to the first stitch of our last row I'll just join in the top of the three chain and work one chain and work one slip stitch in the back loop only in each of the stitches from the last row and then one slip stitch into the first stitch of the black and we fasten off the black for the next row we join our blue to the first stitch of the black so just in here and work two chain work one half 
double crochet in the same stitch as our join and then one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches Then we work three half double crochet into the following stitch. And slip stitch into the side of our work on the black where the top of the last stitch meets. So just in there and fasten off. Now we join our black to the first stitch of our last row. and work one chain and working into the back loop only work one slip stitch into each stitch on the blue and one slip stitch into the first stitch on the black and fasten off the black. we are finished with the black now, we've only got one row to go and we join our blue to the first stitch of the last row of the black and work two chain we work one half double crochet in the same stitch as our join and then one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches and work three half double crochet into the following stitch and then slip stitch into the side of the work where at the top of the last stitch beats and fasten off And that's the pleat done. Now for the neck and shoulders and arms, we're starting at the neck 
I've got my 404 the English T and I work 3 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 remaining chain. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 2 single crochet in each stitch. Then we work 4 chain. For row 9 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 remaining chain. Then we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And then into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first work, one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and two single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So after our first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into the last stitch work two single crochet 
and one half double crochet. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 18 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 19 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now that's the shoulders done, we'll start, start on the arm now. For bow 17 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And one half double crochet into the next stitch. For row 18, we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. For bow 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For bow 20 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 21 we start with two chain and turn, we work one half double crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work a join single crochet over the first two stitches and a join single crochet in the same stitch as the last part of our join single crochet and the last stitch. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 24 we start with two chain and turn, we work one half double crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 27 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 29 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 30 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches.
For row 31, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet in the last part of the first joined single crochet in our last stitch. For row 32, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 33 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 34 we start with one chain and turn. We work three single crochet into the first stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. We're just making a fist now. For row 35 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the first arm done. For the second arm we join on that first stitch of row 16, just in there. And work one chain. We work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And one half double crochet into the next stitch. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row four we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last part of the first joined single crochet and our last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn 
we work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the last part of the joined single crochet in our last stitch. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 23 we start with three chain We work one single crochet into our first stitch and then we work one chain and work one single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the neck, shoulders and arms done except for the neatening row. We're not going to turn, we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around our work until we get just in here. We'll leave the last two stitches up the side and across the top. So one slip stitch in each stitch right around till we get back to the hand. So I'll work that off camera and then I'll be back. 
I'm back to just the other side of where I started the neatening row. I'll work one more slip stitch in this next stitch and fasten off. And that's the arms, shoulders and neck done. Now I'm going to start on the head now with the hair. I'll be using my 110, the black, and I start with six chain. For row one, I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet into the next chain. One double crochet into the following chain. That's the treble using UK terms. One half double crochet into the next one. And a single crochet into the last chain. For row two, I, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then I'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3, we start with 1 chain and turn. We'll work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. Then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 9 stitches. So after our 2 single crochet in the first stitch, work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. Now we're going to start on the hair. For each hair strand we'll work 7 chain. We miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch in each remaining chain. And then we slip stitch into the first stitch along the last row. Now each stitch will have either two or one hair strands in it. I'll work two into the first one. So I'll work seven chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. And then I'll slip stitch into the first stitch again. Now I'll work seven chain. We 
We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. and slip stitch into the next stitch along the row and then work 7 chain miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch in each remaining chain and then slip stitch into the next stitch along. I've only worked one in the last stitch. I'll work two in this, so I work seven chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into the same stitch and then work 7 chain and work the hair strand the same miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch in each remaining chain and then slip stitch into the next stitch and then work 7 chain miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch in each remaining chain and then slip stitch into the same stitch and work 7 chain miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch in each remaining chain and then slip stitch into the next stitch and we keep working like that either two or one strands in each stitch along row three um, we'll want to have about 12 to 15 strands of hair and we'll work two in the last one so I'll work the rest to the last two in the last one off camera. Now I've just got the last stitch to go. I work seven chain
I miss the last chain I work one slip stitch in each remaining chain and slip stitch into the last stitch and then work 7 chain. I miss the last chain and work 1 slip stitch in each remaining chain. I slip stitch into the last chain and I fasten off leaving a long tail. I'm going to use that to pull the hair into shape. I'll weave the hair strands together into a nice shape when I'm making it up. So that's the head and the hair done. Now for the beret I've got my 201, the electric blue, and I start with 9 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have 8 stitches. Then I work 3 chain. For row 2, we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain. Then we work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch work, one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have three stitches left. And we work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We'll work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6, we start with one chain and turn. We'll work a joined single crochet over the first four stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, and then hook into the next one and bring up a loop. We've got five loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last part of our joined single crochet. Then we work four chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each rema remaining chain. and then slip stitch in that same stitch as the last part of our joined single crochet. For the neatening row, we're going to slip stitch in each stitch around the beret to where we work the four chain. And when we get back to the four chain, we fasten off. And that's the beret done. Now I'll start on this right leg now. I've got my 404, the English T, and I start with five chain. For row one, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have four stitches. For 
For bow 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For bow 3 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. For bow 5, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bow 6, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. For bow seven, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the last part of our first joined single crochet and the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. 
For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into our stitch. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into our stitch. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. And for row 26 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. And that's our leg done except for the neatening row. We don't turn, we just work one chain and work one slip stitch in each stitch round the leg. So I'll work the leg off camera and I'll be back. And that's the right leg done. For the right shoe I'll be using my 110 the black and I start with four chain. For row one I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have three stitches. For row 2 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and we're going to be only working into this back loop. We'll be leaving the front loop to work the heel in. So we're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches in the back loop only. And then a joined single crochet in the same stitch as our last sing joined single crochet and the last stitch in the back loop only. So we've got our front loops left to work the heel into. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into each of our two stitches. We'll have four stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. And that's the first part of the shoe. We fasten off. And we're going to join our black cotton into the front loop of the first stitch left. It's easier if we bend our work over. You can see it just up in there. We've got the couple of stitches left. So join in the first stitch and work one chain. We work one single crochet into the same stitch as the join and one single crochet into the loop left of the next stitch.
then we work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and we work three chain that's for the heel for row three we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain and then we slip stitch in the stitch from row 2 and fasten off and the heel's going to bend down over the top of the wider section there now for the left leg I've got my 404 the English T and we start with 4 chain for row 1 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain we'll have 3 stitches For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet in each of the first 2 stitches and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 4 stitches For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch or we'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have five stitches so work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch for row weight we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches for row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and 1 single crochet in each of the last 2 stitches. For 
for row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work a join single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12 we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into our stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 23 we start with three chain and turn and we'll work a join double crochet over the two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, we've got three loops left, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the left leg done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we work one chain, we don't turn and we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch right around the leg. So I'll work the neatening row off camera and I'll be back. When we get to the beginning of the row we fasten off. And that's the left leg done. For the left shoe I'll be using my 110 the black and I start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the long end and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook, bring my hook with the yarn through the circle. Then I work one chain and work two single crochet into my circle. and pull the circle tight. I take hold of the tail and ease it in. For row 2 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 3 I start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet in each stitch.
For row 4, we start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the 2 stitches. For row 5, we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into the stitch. For row 6, we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into the stitch. For row 7, we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into the stitch. For row 8, we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into the stitch and then work 4 chain for the heel. For row 9, we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And one single crochet into the last chain. Then we work three single crochet into the stitch from the last row. For row 10, we work 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. Then pull your loop out a little bit. Put your hook into the stitch just at the other side of the heel there and bring your loop behind the heel onto the hook and pull the cotton in and bring a, your yarn through the loop. Now we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around our shoe to just the point of the shoe up there. And once I get to the top of the shoe, I fasten off. And that's the left shoe done. Now that's all the pieces worked. I'll weave in the ends except the one for the head to use to pull in the hair. And I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pictures. I've got the dress, the pleat the head, the beret, the two legs, the two shoes and the arms and neck and shoulders. The first things I'll do is attach the pleat in behind the dress. The side goes up against 
that part and this point goes down to meet the side of it. I'll attach the shoes to the legs. That one goes on the one that bends out a bit. So across there and up to the side there. And this one just goes in there with the heel pointing down. I'll put a needle onto the end of the thread and I'll pull the hair in probably about three spaces. I'll thread it the cotton through right across the hair and then pull it in and then I'll thread it back through again and maybe again until I get the hair into the right shape. The next thing I'll do is attach the top to the arms just in like that. The next thing I'll do is attach the head to the neck just in like that. So I'll do is attach the beret, it slopes up at the side like that and I'll attach the legs. The left leg goes just in like that and the right leg goes to the side, near the side and just over the top of the left leg like that. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back to show you the finished lady. And there's the finished lady. The size is 17 centimetres wide by 33 centimetres or 7 inches wide by 13 and a quarter inches. I've added a poodle from one of my other videos. I've worked a lead using the blue and 55 chain. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.